if you are recent graduate or a student this video is for you i'm going to talk about a highly requested topic which is how to prepare for job market hello everyone welcome back to this channel this channel is dedicated for electronics and communication engineering students to help achieving their career dreams one person asked me most of the jobs require 2-3 years of experience even getting an internship is not possible for everyone because the number of openings are always less this is a very valid question and i'm going to break it down in this video let's look into that if you are looking for jobs you are going to see this most of the jobs require 2-3 years of experience basically employer is looking for is a kind of quality not not really the quantity like you should have a, like 2-3 years experience on paper like documented they are trying to mention like okay we need someone having this much of quality if we talk about uh, you know skill set and experience so when you are going to start applying for jobs, they need to see practical experience so that you can explain your project you have done before. If you are currently student, you should start as soon as possible. Do not wait to get your uh, degree, but you should start acting now. Now, if you think about the quality, like the employer is looking for quality of skills and the, the years they mention is a number to represent okay, what they are looking for. If they, they mention like five to 10 years, that means they are looking for someone having like more experience. If they mention like two, three years, you can go and apply and you can mention, yes, I'm recently graduated, but my project work is this and you can uh, you know present your project work and every employer is looking for the skilled employees there's kind of shortage and it's hard to find a good employee having good skills so let's look at the plan so the plan is you need to pick up a complex project there are so many projects ideas like if we are talking about electronics people have built line follower robots good wireless communication, traffic light controller. Most of the time students pick up Arduino boards and they pick up some libraries and then they connect everything together and the project is completed. That is totally fine, but keep in mind that is a basic level. That should be your projects in first years. And after that, you should move forward with more complex projects because uh, that is what going to teach you a lot when you are going to tackle the problems so if you are in the first year yes you can go for basics ones if you are in second year so you should be increasing the complexity of your project you should pick the big projects where where you are getting data from multiple sources and you are managing the timing and you are also storing the data the data should be a big enough so that you can process it faster and then also try to connect your devices to the internet because iot internet Internet of things is very popular and there is huge demand in the industry because uh, day by day with this AI artificial intelligence and all the edge AI where you have a possibility to to run your models on edge uh, devices they all fall in electronics field if you pick up for example the embedded systems there's a huge scope and uh, you need to make sure you work on complex projects you can connect your project to vehicle using can because you can read data from vehicle ecu and you can process that data or you can send that data to your laptop or any other device to further processing moving forward you can work on motor controllers you can control a motor speed and you can also control torque uh, work on PID, closed loop uh, systems. There are tons of ways you can make your projects like more helpful in your learning. That should be your second or third year projects and the final year project should be something like a product which can go out and which is ready to use. That takes a lot. Even you can take uh, the same project but you can improve it. What is the power consumption? Is it running on battery? Is it running on power? So if you are running on battery, are you using sleep mode? Are you making sure 
the code is stable and in case code stuck in a deadlock how this code is going to recover you can start with bare metal projects but uh, move forward and study the real time operating system this should be your plan so that you spend like quite a bit of time along with your studies to all these projects to learn the practical and that's how you can uh, prepare for the job market in last section we talk about plan but in this section we are going to talk about how you will be presenting first of all people are lacking the experience but if you are lucky you are working dedicatedly the second point mostly the people miss to work on is the presentation in the college what we do we just prepare a ppt slide and we go in front of our class to present any topic or your you know project that is totally fine but now change your perspective your class is limited number of people but now you are going to present in open market and you are competing uh, against so many people countless uh if you think about a country and if you think about worldwide like you are competing with a lot of students so now how you can stand out is the only way to present differently how you can present differently prepare your portfolio you should have online presence otherwise like how are people going to find you and how they can learn about you the resumes are gone this is 2025 resumes are dead like mostly the employers only spend few seconds on your resume you should be working on your resume to improve it definitely but the resume only is not going to work you should have a online portfolio your website it's very easy to make a website today go check it out and put your detail second is your github account so that you can share whatever you have done so far the coding style the projects you you worked on utilize the github utilize the readme put a lot of detail like explanation uh, over there so why github because mostly github is uh, is the one which is used in the industry and the people the hiring manager or technical manager they used to work with you know github and they want to make sure all their future employees also familiar with github and this is the like kind of showing your skills alongside showing your work you know the projects you have done the third point work on your networking reach linkedin is the best way i secured my last job using linkedin and a couple other roles in past as well i was not dedicatedly working on linkedin in past but now i'm dedicatedly still working on linkedin and uh, you can check it out my profile i will drop a link in the description as well you can watch some videos on youtube like how to improve or optimize your linkedin profile there's like you know so many other people you are competing with you need to find out how you can differentiate yourself from others so far what we covered is like online digital portfolio website github profile and uh, linkedin profile and then the last thing is the resume and you should make sure your resume is properly formatted not fancy but easy to read and most of the time employers are going to spend like almost like you know few second like 30 seconds to scan out your resume and that is the chance like within 30 seconds if your resume is able to convince they are going to put aside and from all the big stack let me tell you one more thing the current employer i'm working for we had a opening so the number of resumes were a lot and it was hard to go through in each of resume so our team leader asked hr to look for these keywords and filter out the resumes so make sure you have those keywords 
in your resume so that whenever someone is looking or any software or any AI tool is looking at your resume, they can filter out and they can relate it to the relevant jobs. So there's a lot I can share, but most of the important uh, advice I can provide is to make sure whatever you are doing, do it properly. If you did like only three projects, that is totally fine. But make sure you go into details. There's a skill called attention to detail. Pay attention. So when you are explaining, employers are going to judge you based on your confidence, based on your uh, way of explanation, how deeply you are explaining the concept and the problems you tackled and what was your approach to tackle the problems. I'm working as a firmware engineer right now. There are a lot of opportunities in this field. If you are working in electronics and communication field, you are lucky. Every country is working to get independent and have more and more development going on in semiconductor. There is huge demand of electronics in upcoming years. So consider yourself lucky. Utilize your time wisely. Watch this video multiple times. Take notes. Put two comments. One, the projects you should be working on. Maybe add your projects as well in the comments section i will review them and others can also review and get help from your ideas as well and the second thing how you are going to present yourself to the potential or future employers i will be sharing more similar videos on this channel make sure you like this video for better reach to other persons share this uh, with someone you think this video can help them all your students friends and in your groups as well please subscribe to this channel and we will see in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video.